Hello, this exercise is all about ACFS. We're going to create an ACFS file system and add some uh, file to it and um, see how that works. So I have three windows open. <clears throat> the first one is for the Rack 1 instance. The second one is the Rack 2 instance. The third one is for, and these are both in, as root, and um, this one is as Oracle to the Rack 1 instance, but I have um, <clears throat> I have um, pointed to the uh, um, the grid home in this particular case, and now I'm going to run ASMCA. All right, so we already have some existing uh, disk groups. So the first thing I want to do is create a volume. <clears throat> and let's call it ACFS. ACFS. I'm going to pull my volume from ASMCD, uh, ASMD and I'm going to use 10 gigs. And it was created successfully. So the next step is to go to the ACFS cluster file systems. And we're going to create one here also. And I'm going to do a general purpose. And I'm going to call it U02. Now, here's the information about this. Uh, um, <clears throat> as a general rule, now, um, this mount point should not exist. Uh, I should not do a make dir ahead of time. Now, um, it will do all that for you, and it will mount it for you also. Um, but in these VMs, I've noticed that it's been kind of buggy, and so sometimes I've had to go in and create the directories and then mount them manually. Now, um, so we're going to see what happens in this case. But ideally, all you have to do is specify the mount point, register it, click here, and it will say it will be mounted automatically, and it generally does. So let's see what happens. All right, so it says the file system will be mounted automatically for use, but we'll see what in fact does happen. Oh, and here it is. One has been mounted, and so um, this is asynchronous activity, so um, and the only way I know how to do a refresh of this particular screen is to go back and forth, and now both are mounted. So that's great. Um, so now they're both mounted as root, unless, and I can verify that. Let's do a ls minus that's slash user 2. And see now it's root. Uh, so let's go ahead and chone these for, for Oracle O install and schmod at 775. And do it over here as well. And Okay, so then let's go Oracle. And let's uh, create a file. And then over here. User of two, and lo and behold, that file is there. Okay, great. So we have created a file uh, um, on the file system. On the, now let's go ahead and create what they call a snapshot. And how that is done is let's go back to root. And the first command we have to do is ACFS util. Info. And this gives us all the info on this particular um, uh, mount point that we've created and all the mount points that we have created. Um, now the next thing I want to do is a, a snapshot. And let's go ahead and do that. So slash slash in slash ACFS util snap create. You have to give the snapshot a snapshot name. So let's give it snap1. Snap one and the, the mount point, so it's slash u02. And where that snapshot goes is actually on the mount point itself, so slash u02 in a, a hidden directory called dot, dot acfs. And if we do this, we see snaps. And lo and behold, the snapshot is there. And <clears throat> we can also remove it. It's been acfs util. Snap delete. Snap 
one, zero two. And uh, um, if I do this, now the snapshot is gone. Okay, so the, the next activity I want to do is, I'll, first of all, get off, out of, of the mount points. And the next thing I want to do is actually unmount and delete everything that I have just done. So the first thing is that <clears throat> we see that the mount point is mounted. So the first thing we have to do is unmount it. And I think the only way to do that is to do this manually. So we just do show the dismount command. Oops, no, that's the mount command. So close that. Let's try this again. Show the dismount command. Got it. And so I want to use this command on both um, rack nodes. Okay. And once you do that, then um, then it becomes deletable. Up to that point, it's not. So now you can delete it. And we go back to the volumes, and we can delete that as well. And I, I don't know if it always asks for this, but this is easy. Just put in the password. Okay. And so, and the last bit uh, that's left from the <clears throat> the file system is that the actual um, file handle or the slash u02 directory is still there. I can show you that. And see it, that it's there, but we're going to go ahead and remove it also. And we're going to do that here as well. Rm slash u02. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you.